Hey there, everybody. Tyler Parsons back again, looking at a couple things you can do to increase that club head speed, build up some stability, and really hammer through that ball for some longer drives. Now, we can't really look at getting faster without looking at swinging. So today I've got a little speed stick here, and what we're gonna do, and we'll have you start off in a half kneeling position. We're gonna take our club, speed stick, whatever, what we actually want to do is turn through and swing, okay? Now, we have a bunch of different components here. Down into the half kneel, this is going to make a lot of you actually work on balance. As we turn back, we're not able to really rotate and open up the hips as much as we normally would. So this is really going to force you to have to make a nice big shoulder turn, okay? So there's benefit one. As we come through, again, the hips locked up, so now we're really going to be turning and getting that thoracic rotation in through the ball, all right? Now, for this next piece, once we come through and swing, what I want you to do is we're going to go up and we're going to jump and we're going to switch legs. We're then going to turn and come through. Now, we know that that jump is going to be a plyometric and that's going to be using that ground force. So we're really looking at using the legs, not necessarily in through the swing, but building up that potential, okay? So I'm going to start over. We'll go through a couple of reps here. Nice big turn, swing, jump. And just work our way through. Now, the last benefit that we're getting is swinging that opposite direction. Again, keeping that body nice and symmetric. That way we can have those brakes built in to help us accelerate because the body's not gonna accelerate more than it has built in to help decelerate. If it does, that's injury. So something really good, go through, do a couple of sets, get started on it, boost that club head speed, and check back often for more golf fitness tips.